Hello guys, my name is Ali A and I think that Fortnite is trash. So, Fortnite, the game that has had PCs named after it. So, why would it have me, Ollie, mad at it at a game like this? I got no kill, let's go! <laughs> Yep, that's it. People like Rice Cup. See, when I say Fortnite as a whole, I only mean the Battle Royale and not the Save the World. See, I'm fine with people like Ninja who just make money playing the game on Twitch like people have done on YouTube for so long. The people that ruin the community, if I'm honest, is pretty much Rice Cup, Jake Paul, uh, Logan Paul and Ali A. It's Royscum and Jake did a video with Strip Fortnite that's just wrong. And of course, how can we get the guy that did a Strip Fortnite video with his supposed 13 year old sister? Okay, now we've gone through people that annoy me. Uh, we can go on to the emotes. See, the emotes are what makes Fortnite different from other games. The fact you can dance in a game and do some weird stuff where people have dodged bullets. But it's not these, it's the fact that you can't just take some things that have. Example, Orange Justice, that's the kid in the orange shirt that dances. It's kind of a rip-off dance of Roy Prudy. Now, of course, it's not something you should get mad over, really. That this kid just copied someone he probably looks up to, at least, or just likes to watch dance but it's also part of the way you gain these dances is from v books there's a thousand v books giveaway in the description good luck now it's people like that who he won't give v books away from the video that's from he put that on there so little kids like his video subscribe just so he gets boosted on youtube and that's what kind of annoys me it's also the fact that i've got friends that have spent more money on v books than say buying PUBG and I'm not saying that you shouldn't play Fortnite and go and play PUBG I just prefer PUBG and that's gonna get me a loads of dislikes as well if not everybody already disliked this video because just the title so back to V-Bucks all these V-Bucks get you are skins and these dances and we all know that it doesn't have a boost on you whatsoever as it says that it doesn't give you a player advantage and most of us with common sense would know this Yet still, there are videos saying it's a pay to win game. And he approaches the finish line. What the hell? It's quicker. No way. And of course, that's fake. We know that it's not pay to win. They say it's not pay to win. There are other parts that, like, the dances make it pay to win. Because you can dodge the bullets and rockets and whatever. But it's not. And of course we had the map change for season 4 that bought like the heroes thing where it had Dusty Depot destroyed and you know Tilted Towers wasn't meant to be and people were annoyed and people were speculating it was Tilted Towers and there was all the hype about it and then of course they decided to add the one, the only Thanos as they decided to add him in there and for a pretty good reason if I'm honest see the crossover actually came about between avengers infinity war this is what the director said at least because they reportedly reached out the russo brothers reached out to fortnite as they were huge fans of it and just they thought it'd be cool if he were to be in the game but of course with thanos coming out there were also the overhyped videos of him doing it and we are here to destroy everyone like Ali A, of course, who titled the video, You Can't Be Killed If You Do This, just to clickbait more people into watching this video. So here we are on our last topic for this video, and this being people that fake their Fortnite videos. Now you've got people that just have the video saved of someone else playing on their account and just having their footage sent to them. And then them just supposedly like reacting to it, like commentating over it, just pretending they're good at the game. Right, guys, so the first stop off the bus was uh, good old Snobby Shores. I figured we could stop here and uh, 
make our way to Tilted afterwards. We should get a decent amount of action, I hope. I saw a couple other people coming in. Grab this. Go ahead and take our potion. So that's only the first bit from T. Martin's video where there was the first part where he messes up. What he's going to say is that he's picking up items when he hasn't even landed at Snobby Shores yet. So that's part of it, and now for the other part. Five ten, five ten, five ten. So here, where he's calling out five ten, I assume he's referring to the timestamp of when he actually lands and picks the items up. So uh, that's where he messes up again. So the first stop off the bus was a uh, good old snobby shores landing. So, so then he goes back to pretending that he hasn't said any of that before. He didn't edit any of it out or anything. Of course, he deleted the video after it had been uploaded because people started to expose him. But somebody re-uploaded the video and then it got here. Understandably though, you can see why some YouTubers actually do this. Because playing a game for 20 odd minutes just to then lose with all this commentary gone is kind of annoying to happen to somebody. But it would be nice of them to say maybe that it is background footage only and they are talking over it. Or that they are doing what they're doing and not try and lie to their fans by doing this. Example, the background footage for this that has been a Fortnite game. This isn't my footage whatsoever, so this is the disclaimer here. Uh, the footage that it is will be linked in the description from the YouTube channel that posted it as it's free content they say so uh, yeah here is the channel non copyright gameplay so go subscribe to them like their videos and if you want use their content so there you go guys my video on why I think Fortnite isn't the best I hope you all understand that I'm not just criticizing it saying Fortnite's a bad game not explaining myself I enjoy Battle Royale games, I enjoy the save the world for Fortnite, I enjoy aspects of Fortnite like the emotes, the fact it is free to play and you can choose to spend money, but it's mostly the community built around it that makes Fortnite a worse game, so say. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Go watch and subscribe to the channel below. That is where I got this content from. So uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.